Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash true off my chest, where OP seemingly gave his cheating girlfriend a taste of her own medicine. Let's begin. She cheated with a co-worker, and she made me feel crazy for raising suspicions. Posted by Reddit user RoxBob. Typing from a throwaway account. One month ago, my girlfriend told me she does not really like our relationship anymore. She told me it became stale and she doesn't feel desired anymore. She told me she doesn't know if we would be together forever anymore. While I agreed that the relationship was not as fun anymore, I still think that we were fine. A week later she told me that the she had developed a work crush in the last months. Let's call him Kevin. She told me that nothing ever happened. She told me about a conversation they had after work where he told him that there is something between them and that it needs to stop. I asked my girlfriend to stop seeking contact with Kevin, except for professional work-related tasks. In the weeks after, she promised me that everything was over after that conversation with Kevin. The feelings had stopped. I believed her. However, of course I kept asking her if they still had contact. She assured me that that was not the case. These questions from me really annoyed her. She told me that if I keep asking these questions, our relationship cannot really improve. We have find my friends on our iPhones, where we can see each other's locations. I know many people's opinion on that, but that doesn't matter. On one night after her work, she stopped sharing her location. I asked her about this and she told me it must have been her internet connection. I doubted that since the messages I had sent her still went through. I must have asked a hundred times what happened that night, but she said nothing happened. In the next days I was really feeling paranoid. She found this very annoying, I told her I was just not trusting her fully anymore. She said that nothing weird was happening anymore. I was starting to doubt myself. I must be crazy for suspecting her. Two days ago she was crying, I asked what was up and she told me that she had kissed Kevin the day before, in the office when everyone on her floor had left. Note that this was a different day than the day she put her find my friend's location off. She apologized so many times. She assured me that this was the first time that something like this had happened. She said that she has not ever even touched him before that moment. She promises me that they never 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 had sex. She also confessed that they had sought contact with each other, even though she had promised not to do that anymore. Apparently, they have had phone calls after work in their cars when driving home. Afterwards she has deleted these calls from her call history. Keep in mind that I had asked many times if they still had contact, and it always made her annoyed at me. I then asked her what happened that night when she put her location off. She assured me that that was really not the case and nothing happened. She told me that she now really has told me everything. Yesterday she came out and said that was also a lie. She had a long conversation on the parking lot on the phone with him. She put her location off as not to cause suspicion in me. What the worst part is, that she made me feel like I'm crazy, like I was seeing things that were not there. That she got angry when I told her my suspicions. She got angry when I kept asking if she had still seen him. Yes, she told me directly when she had kissed him. However, there has been a lot of drip feeding the truth afterwards. She promises me now that everything is on the table, but I don't know if I can believe her anymore. Of course she now wants to fix everything. She says we can fix it together, she's really sorry and promised not to talk to him anymore. Kevin is going to a different work location after next week and they will not be working together anymore. She assured me she really regrets it and is crying about what she's done to me. At the same time, she's also saying this might not have happened if I would have made her feel more desired. I'm doubting what to do. She wants to know if I still want to be with her, I cannot tell her. My mind says I should leave, but I don't want to. I told her I cannot decide this right now, I will only know after a while. Moreover, we own a house together. She has a lot of own equity in the house and the other 50% is our mortgage. I feel like I will get financially gutted by quitting this relationship. I need some outside views on this. I never thought I would experience anything like this, I'm really devastated. TLDR, my girlfriend kissed a co-worker in the office. I had suspicions for a while, but she got mad when I raised those. Now all these suspicions seem to be true, they did not have sex, we own a house together, we're leaving for vacation next week. OP, you seriously believe that they didn't have sex? You actually believe that this was the first time. Listen here, you damn donut. The only reason she wants to fix things with you was because Kevin probably dumped her ass. Can you please, once in your pathetic, simpy life, stand up for yourself and have some self-respect? And now for today's second story. 
I've gotten my revenge on my cheating girlfriend, and I still don't think I can forgive her. Posted by Reddit user Forsaken Discount. I didn't expect this to be so long before writing, so skip to the TLDR to find out why I think I'm a bad person. A lot of background, my girlfriend had a period for about a year and a bit into our relationship, where every second weekend for a few months was girls' night and she'd go out with her girlfriends. Sometimes she'd message me with pictures, sometimes I wouldn't hear back until the next morning when she crashed at one of her friends' houses. I brought it up a few times that I didn't like being in the dark about her nights, but she told me I should just trust her. I really didn't like this, but it didn't matter by the end of it, as she decided to cut herself off from that friend group and cut back on drinking, our relationship continued. Whenever I asked about those friends, she said the girls' nights weren't fair to me and she wanted to spend time to focus on us, and so those weekends turned into board game nights, movie nights, nights of experimentation. Fast forward three years to about a month ago, my girlfriend and I were drinking for the first time in ages and I was egging her on to do shots with me because I always thought she was cute when she got tipsy, but instead she just looked sad and after a while, she broke down into tears. It took a long while of consoling to get her to respond, to which she said she wanted to talk to her sister and if I could give her a bit. I honestly had no idea what this was about, I thought it was some family drama until she came back out and told me the truth, since apparently it had been eating her alive for the past three years. On the last girl's night, she had cheated on me. She begged me to forgive her and when I asked her what she meant by cheated, she begged me not to ask for details as it would make things worse. My heart sunk then, because hearing that made it clear it most likely wasn't just a kiss. I told her it was stupid to half confess then expect me to forgive her and she was just inconsolable at that point. So after about 10 minutes of trying to get her to spit out what she had done, she denied me any details. I told her if you don't tell me what you did right now, I'm walking out the door and you'll never see me again. Which made her freak out so loud I was afraid that the police would be called, so I started to go for the door where she stopped me. She confessed she had slept with two men that her friends had met that night. She tried to hug me in an effort to stop me leaving, but I kept her at arm's distance and I couldn't even think of what to ask. My life felt like it unraveled. I told her to go to bed and we'll talk about this in the morning and I had planned to leave, but she ended up holding on to me, begging me to stay the night. The whole night I just stood in my anger as she whimpered into my chest before falling asleep. Come morning she looked like a corpse, all the life was drained out of her face, I asked her to explain what happened in detail and if I find out anywhere down the line that she skipped a detail or obscured something, I would never forgive her. She essentially explained that two guys were hanging around the group with them and buying everyone drinks, she was insecure that they weren't giving her any attention. So when they finally started talking to her, she felt validated. She left with them to party after the night out and that's where they hooked up. The speech sounded like the culmination of three years of reflection on that night. The first question on the top of my mind was, so, both at the same time. To which she said yes, and that made my skin crawl. <coughs> I then asked if she still had contact with them, to which she responded she doesn't even know their names. I asked if she got an STD test, to which she looked a bit annoyed at first, then immediately dropped the face and she said yes and they wore protection. I had to ask on top of that if the STD test was negative, to which she said yes. I then started looking for reasons, were you on drugs, were you forced, did they threaten you? All knows. I then asked why. She has no idea, she just didn't care at that time and once they finished, she knew she fucked up. I asked her if this was the only time and she said yes, but then added that she had kissed a guy as well when out, but had very little recollection of it. I then went into detail about that how long before the sex was the kiss. Why didn't she stop going out after the kiss? She didn't have a good answer for that and just started apologizing, saying that she isn't like that anymore, that she doesn't want to lose me. I told her there that I wanted to break up, which made her freak out and begin pleading that we can work things out. We had a back and forth about how I think that everything we've done is fake, since the woman I've been dating is this guilt-ridden persona of herself and I would have broken up with her had she been honest. She said that night was the night that made her realize that she loved me more than anything and didn't want to lose me. I then asked her if she would forgive herself, and she said yes very quickly. I told her, so if she was home every other weekend wondering if I'm out with friends or having sex with some stranger, then I came home and apologized, she would forgive me. She said if I was honest about it and wouldn't do it again then yes, she would. I said she's full of shit but she stood by it, saying that is honestly how she felt. 
So I ended up calling her bluff and told her, okay, every second weekend I'm going out and you won't hear back from me until the weekend's over, and you'll just have to trust that I'm not having sex with other people. I could tell she wanted to say no, but she had already locked herself in, so we went back to our normal lives. I was obviously cold to her at first, but she put on a brave face thinking we were making it through this. The weekend came and I said I'm going out and she looked like a ghost, but didn't stop me. I assumed she thought I was bluffing, which I suppose I was. I went to my friend's house who knew about the whole situation and we just binged some TV shows and had a few drinks. I ignored all her messages during the time and when I came home, she gave me a big hug and kiss, looked like she was trying to see my night through my eyes, but I gave her nothing. This became a routine and she was walking around like a zombie 24-7, and I thought about giving up the ruse a few times because I saw the woman I loved for a brief moment, but then the thought of her cheating on me would always pull me back to this vengeful state. My friend told me what I'm doing is evil and I should just dump her if I can't forgive her, to which I agree, I'm not getting a kick out of seeing her dying inside. It honestly makes me feel awful because I know what a great loyal girlfriend she would be now. but I just can't love her anymore. I need to tell her now that there is nothing we can do to fix this, I can't move past what she did. But I'm worried about the fallout from this situation I've put her through. TLDR, my girlfriend cheated on me, so I made her agree to let me go out to cheat on her to show her how it feels. OP, she was getting spit roasted while she knew that you were waiting for her back home. Then she pretended to be a loving girlfriend, lying to you for three years straight. And you think you're the one being cruel? Get real. While I do agree that this whole charade of yours is stupid, I don't think you're being cruel to her. But OP, just break up with her and expose her to everyone. So if you don't have anything better, then just move on with your life, for your own sake. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.